elite are all about transcendence and living forever and the secrets of the universe, and they want to know all this. Some are good, some are bad, some are a mix. And we're on this planet, and Einstein's physics showed it, Max Planck's physics showed it all. There's at least 12 dimensions. And now that's why all the top scientists and billionaires are coming out saying it's a false hologram. It is artificial. The computers are scanning it and finding tension points where it's artificially projected and gravity's bleeding in to this universe. That's what they call dark matter. So we're like a thought or a dream that's a wisp in some computer program, some God's mind, whatever. They're proving it all. It's all coming out. I think most likely, this is just about probability, there are many, many simulations. These simulations are, we might as well call them reality, or you could call them the multiverse. These simulations you believe are created? Like someone has manufactured? They're running on the substrate. Now, there's like this sub-transmission zone below the third dimension that's just turned over to the most horrible things is what it resonates to. And it's trying to get up into the third dimension that's just a basic level consciousness to launch into the next levels. And our species is already way up in the fifth, sixth dimension, consciously, our best people. But there's this big war trying to, like, basically destroy humanity because humanity has free will. And there's a decision to which level we want to go to. We have free will, so evil's allowed to come and contend, not just good. And the elites themselves believe they're racing using human technology to try to take our best minds and build some type of breakaway civilization where they're going to merge with machines, transcend, and break away from the failed species that is man. Well, that's the scenario. The, 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 the merge scenario with AI is the one that seems like probably the best. Like For if, us. Yes. Like if you, if you can't beat it, join it. <laughs> that's... <laughs> yeah. You know... Um, so, from a long-term existential standpoint, that's like the purpose of Neuralink, is to create a high bandwidth interface to the brain such that we can be symbiotic with AI. Because we have a bandwidth problem. You just can't communicate through your fingers, it's too slow. And so Google was set up 18, 19 years ago. This was I knew about this before it was declassified. I'm just saying I have good sources. That they wanted to build a giant artificial system. And Google believes that the first artificial intelligence will be a supercomputer based on the neuron activities of the hive mind of humanity with billions of people wired into it with the oh, Internet of shit. Things. And so all of our thoughts go into it, and we're actually building a computer that has real neurons in real time that's also psychically connected to us that are organic creatures.